Hey everyone, it's Tim Coddington, the Wildernaut. I thought I'd give you a little look into what it's like when you pull up on a spot like this, and what it takes to get my rig set up, and take a little tour of inside the rig. There's my backyard today. It's nice, but let's take a little tour. Show you how I get it set up and what it's like. Now the manufacturer of my pop-up camper is four wheel. I have the Raven model. There's where my furnace outlet is. There's where my battery box venting is. Here's an auxiliary input for solar panels, in case I want to pull solar panels out in the sun. I'm parked in the shade. This is where my propane tanks are, two 10 gallon tanks. There we have a floodlight, and another floodlight. They're the amber types. There's a big picture window. There's an eight foot awning. And that's the outside. Here's my storage shed, right here, in the back seat. I like the Raven model because it allowed me to keep my half ton truck with no suspension modifications. It's still light and nimble, and I can get around in places where other people can't. Uh, just simple as that. I like going into the backwoods, and this is the backwoods where I am now for sure. Here's what I do when I get to camp. This is how you pop up the pop up. Undo that. Do a little press. It gets up so high. Strap. Put the strap on. Boom. Then you just go around at the front. So now we're going to look at the inside of my truck camper. Keep in mind, when I purchased this, I was looking for something simple, something that was not going to break, was not going to freeze. Uh, you know, something I can get back into the two tracks, back into the camping areas I like to go, and this is what I got. Well, let's start with the kitchen area, the cooking surface. Up under the cook surface, there's a camp stove there that I can take out, put on top, or bring outside. It's propane. It's kind of like a junk drawer, too. I have a lot of things. There's another burner for a single burner propane, a TV estimator for water, tape measure, battery charger, koozie. There's <clears throat> charging station, you have four USB, one 12 volt. There's the charge controller meter, but I've actually disconnected that and hooked up a Bluetooth one, which is right there. So I can read that when I'm in the car or, you know, anytime. And there's two 12 volt 80 amp hour batteries there. There's my furnace that heats this thing up in no time. There's the mechanism. Hey, there's the mechanism for bringing down the back of the truck. You just unsnap that, pull this down, and the back of the truck comes down. There's my hanging basket of bananas, my basket that I built, and there's some hand sanitizer, and some bear spray, some powder, just some things you might need, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, infrared thermometer, mirror, another apple, headband, just some odds and ends. Uh, there's my atlatl I made. There's, that's the dart. It's the atlatl there, actually. And I brought some more uh, cane along. I want to make a flute out of one of these days. And moving down. Stack of things. A pair of pants. A shirt for later tonight because it's going to get cold here in the desert. There's my, my toiletries bag. A towel over a couple of totes here. There's a tote full of camp supplies, it's like my hammock, uh, screen room, pad, that kind of thing. And here's a tote full of clothes. Over here, I have a tripod. This is my Berkey water filter under here, and this is a bucket. Uh, for getting water, putting in the Berkey, it'll filter pretty much any water and make it drinkable. Haven't had much opportunity to use it around here because there is no water. It's like a drought. Uh, down here, 
have my big water jug that I fill up. And there's the axe there. And my follower's shovel. And another axe over there. And back up to the sleeping quarters. There's my left channel JBL Bluetooth speaker. My sleeping bag. And down from there, I have my breakfast basket. And some granola. Big nut sack, oatmeal, bowl, the pots, coffee cup, and over here is all the coffee stuff. So brown sh raw sugar, uh, coffee, coffee cultures, milk, strand, and a white gas stove and some white gas. Uh, this is just a basket I use for things I gotta do something with. Here I have a small nut sack here, I gotta put in my backpack wall I got a sharpness knife my other phone got to charge that up that's the water I drink out of all the time <laughs> drink a lot of water probably about three of those a day since the humidity is less than eight uh, percent down below that have uh, another tote full of uh, kitchen food stuff basically um, spices uh, dry goods noodles rice here's my jackery love this thing it uh, takes a charge, and then you can use USB, 12 volt, or 110 off it. It's great. Lasts a long time too. This is a uh, another tote. It has my cast irons in there. Use that for cooking outside. I like cooking inside too, but it's easier to haul around if it's in a tote like that. And then I have another one of these that has uh, spices and that sort of thing in it. There's the propane for the stove. That tub down there is one I use for washing as well as this one. And this thing here, <laughs> I forgot I had, but I brought it. I'm glad I did. It'll project, uh, it's a projector, very small one, okay? very small. Uh, it projects a 50 inch flat screen up on that wall right there. I close that window, it's all white, boom. Had Star Wars last night. That was great. Uh, it's battery powered, so it can run alone like that. We'll do a whole movie or you can plug it in with USB. Um, and that runs off of my iPhone. I just plug my iPhone right into it. It's great. And then I use these blue paper towels for pretty much everything. Uh, down in the front here, spare toilet paper. I have a dry bag there with uh, dirty clothes in it. Another dry bag below that with some trash in there. There's my bug sprayer, weed sprayer that I plan on making a shower out of, painted black. Uh, this is, I use this for a bench. It's not made for that. Uh, that's my refrigerator. It's a Whitner. Runs on 12 volts. Keeps my stuff cold. And then I put that there and use that for a bench seat. Um, that's about it. There's my cardboard floor. And I put a toad out there. That's a little bit of a long step. Oh, look at that view. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my home. If you liked the video, hit like. If you're not subscribed to Wildernut on YouTube, get out to YouTube and subscribe to Wildernut and smash that notification bell so you get notified of any new videos that I might put up. Hope you're having a great day. If you're not having a great day, I'm having a great day for you. There's my 50 inch. Forgot to mention. A decision needed to be made. It also has true left and right channel stereo.